In today's video, I'm testing the brand new Cyber Shape Paddle Racket from Steger Sports. This is a shape we have never seen before in paddle, and I have tested to see what difference it makes on the court. So, let's get started. Let me show you the first moment I got my hands on the Cyber Shape Racket. Oh, so it's fully open. Is it literally just a racket in there? It's in like a little clear foamy film. Oh, okay, that's disappointing. I was expecting it to be in like a, ma a really nice case. That is cool, isn't it? That is, that is nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait, what? Oh, heptagon, yeah. It looks a bit smaller than I thought. Like, I think in the pictures, oh, and this, this adjust. Okay, so then it's got a wrist strap that goes around your wrist as well, which is always nice. That's the first thing you notice. It feels a bit like, um, if you ever tried Babalat rackets, it's very similar to that in terms of the handle length. It's noticeably longer. This is what they're calling the cyber shape. They're saying that this is gonna allow you to have a 20% bigger sweet spot here. So we're gonna test that out in a minute. Another thing they're saying is because the edges are flat like this, that's gonna give you an advantage when you're defending in the corner because imagine you're hitting a ball near the wall, it will go flat against the wall. So basically they're saying that the shape allows you to get closer to the glass because you can essentially go completely flat against the glass like this. It's then got a rough sandpaper surface. This retails around 320 pounds. And then obviously it's got 18K carbon, it's called the 18K and a carbon frame so pretty standard with a high-end racket the balance is high so it's like a head heavy paddle racket that you typically see in maybe diamond or even some teardrop shaped rackets so just for comparison this is your standard maybe teardrop racket and then this is the cyber shape paddle racket i started off by testing some volleys with the cyber shape paddle and noticed instantly it sounds really loud i also had to adjust to hitting right in the middle of the racket as that's where it performed best it was quite a strange feeling hitting right in the center with a head heavy racket but it did feel good when you got the connection right so the racket feels really fun because of the 18k the, the core is is high memory as well so it is quite a a hard feel on the arm. It was time for me and Harry to play some points out. The exact weight of this model with an overgrip is 361 grams, so quite light, but also at the same time, it is head heavy. So I struggled a little bit with the maneuverability with it. However, the connection I was getting on the ball was really good. I really don't know with this one. I don't know if I can, if I like it or not. It's very different to what I normally use. The main thing I don't love about it is that the handle's longer and it's more head heavy, but I know that's gonna to appeal to a lot of players. But for me, that just makes it a little bit less maneuverable. Now time to practice a bit of defense. I felt the racket was performing a bit stronger here, especially when you had a ground stroke in front of the wall. That's when I felt it performed best as you could play it right on the sweet spot. I think it's actually better in defense. It feels really good when not necessarily the lower on the wall but it's the ones in front when you hit there oh. I decided to invite my friend Kai down who does not care for paddle rackets at all. I wanted to see an unbiased opinion from someone who just uses anything when they play paddle. It's cool isn't it? Uh, you don't like it? Really. Uh, you like, think it looks ugly? I think it's a bit blocky. It looks like a pickable racket. I know what you mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, you try some volleys with it, see what you think. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> Basically, just to tell you, actually no, I won't tell you anything. Okay. You, you tell me what you think. What do you think? Yeah, I, mean, I don't really think much. It feels like every other racket thing. Get closer to the glass. Because look, because you know when you scrape the glass, because of the edges. <laughs> All right, now do it with the other edges. I get what they're saying that. I think that's good marketing, but that's not going to make any difference. You're still going to hit it on the glass just as much, aren't you? What no. would you actually say about it? Just genuinely just feel like any other racket. No, it's, it's still good. Like, um, you can get a good, good connection with it. <laughs> That's all I really know what to say. 
I gave the cyber shape powder racket to a few other friends throughout the day and they gave me similar feedback to Kai that they felt that they could get a really good connection on the ball but didn't feel that much difference compared to other paddle rackets that they've tried. Let me give you my final thoughts of whether this paddle racket actually does help your paddle. I think it's a really, really cool idea and it's such a cool design. They're definitely gonna sell tons of these rackets because so many people are gonna be curious to see what it's like. If you turn up to a match having one of these compared to everyone else's round and teardrop rackets, you're definitely gonna stand out. I think when you hit the ball right in this sweet spot, there definitely is something there about their added 20% sweet spot because it feels really good, especially at the back of the court when you get quite an easy ball to play your ground stroke and you hit right there, you notice a huge difference. What they're saying about defense in the corner, they describe it as having a clear advantage against the wall because of the edges. I don't really think that's the case at all. You're still gonna hit the wall just as much and, and scrape the racket as you would with a normal racket. It's not like every time you swing, you're gonna perfectly miss the wall because of the, the edges. Overall though, when I'm playing with it, it does just feel like a normal paddle racket. Because of how it looks and this shape, you're expecting something that feels a lot different. It's gonna massively impact your shots. But really, it just felt like a lot of other paddle rackets I've tested. However, when I was actually playing with it, I did like it. Make sure to let me know what you think of this paddle racket in the comment section below.